special guest, Brandon Combs, joining us today on Strikeout Beer. And we're live. Welcome to the Strikeout Beer, episode number 293. With your pals, Alan and Rapid Dave, I'm Alan. Oh, I'm Boozy Dave, baby. Oh, Boozy Dave. Uh-oh. <laughs> your shirt does say contains alcohol. I like it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> saw that. I was like, I like that. Yeah, like you know, that. just a nice little, little faded tee little, something to get the soccer bombs going a on something, a something. Saturday morning. They like it. Go. They like it a lot. There you go. So how's it going, buddy? Uh, you know, life's life. It is what it is. It is what it is. Sure as shit ain't getting any better. <laughs> <laughs> ain't getting any worse, though, right? Maybe? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It could always get worse, isn't it? Isn't that the saying? Yeah. Yeah. Brews with Drew's in the house. What's up? What's going on Instagram? What's going on Twi- TikTok, Twitch, Kick, Facebook, everybody? How the Just hell everywhere. is everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a good one. Yeah. Um, we got Stars Hockey on tonight. We got uh, Rangers Baseball. Later on, we got the Mavs playing. Oh, buddy, it's a big, big night of sports here in the DFW Metroplex. We got news that the Dallas Wings are actually going to become the Dallas Wings. More on that later. Oh. I mean, it's just a big, it's a big sports day right here. Sports cycle. And uh, write Dallas Wings down. So what do you got? uh, What are you drinking Uh, over there? Kloss Howler. uh, Dry Hopped. Molson's in the house. What's going on? Molson, what's shaking, bacon? Uh, This is our non-alcoholic. Go Oilers, go. Yeah, he's a hockey guy. It's got some really, Lizzie? really small words on the back that I can't, I just can't read. Are you uh, going to attempt so to read why, it? So why did you give up your glasses? Why don't you wear your glasses anymore? I, I lost, so I switched the contacts. Okay. I didn't, then, didn't even know that. Okay. Yeah, and then stopped with contacts. I just I, I had issues with contacts. And then uh, you get the LASIK? Just, I just haven't been back to the eye doctor to get new glasses. So you're driving around... Without your vision, your 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 visual aids any right now. So together, my eyes are twenty twenty, but what? one eye works harder than the other one. So you don't have that restriction on your license. No, yeah, no, I don't have a restriction or anything oh, okay. like that. Yeah, right. no, I could I could see just fine. Well, when was the last time you went to the DMV? Um, a couple of years ago. Okay, they said you're good to go. Three years, yeah, yeah. I, they did the little eye thing. I said, yeah, I. That's see not an eye those. thing. They did one of those. They gave you a little check. A little. <laughs> little on yeah. under table action. Yeah. Oh man, that only happened to me one time. <laughs> oh, you only had the under the table action once. It was when I was like That's seventeen or eight. Was I must have been eighteen or nineteen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because she's like, you're eighteen, right? I go, yeah, yeah. What's up? And she goes, come here real quick. Come here real quick. I'm like, what's that now? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Anthony Botello over there on a little TikTok. How's it going? Yeah. Jay Cisneros. I know Jay's jacked up. Dallas Cowboys signed themselves a running back. Oh, buddy. So I almost socked somebody in the face with an Elliott jersey on today. One Mr. Ezekiel. Zeke Elliott. What is going on? Happy birthday, Alan. <laughs> You're a week show. Oh, my gosh. The... Ah, we got to leave the room. Nice. Every time we walk out of the room, the star score, we sit here and Vegas scores. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, not my birthday. Wasn't got... my birthday then either. Jay, it's good to see you. Um, we're going to do the drawing for the uh, thing. What's that thing? Big bottle jug. Yeah, something. Uh, we'll do the drawing for that tonight or later tomorrow or something like that. We'll get it out to the winner. Uh, I was trying to, you know, I was trying to get everybody in, another chance to get in on it. And I was like, I don't think people read very well. That's pretty good. And so, but uh, yeah, I was like, all right, we're going to get this thing hammered out. I mean, uh, spoiler, you know, we're hoping that. Uh, Jay said he likes jugs. I like jugs too. Why do we like jugs so much? Like, I just like them. Just why, like, why wouldn't we like them? I just like them. I don't know what the deal is. It, riddle me that, Batman. Why wouldn't we like them? I don't know. Have you seen the Mets um, City Connect helmets or the hats that's got, like, the city skyline? Their hats? Uh, yeah. No. Does it look dumb? No, it looks pretty cool. Then what do you, oh, that's why you're bringing it up? Because yeah. yeah, all of a sudden you like cool stuff? I've always liked cool stuff. No, you don't. New I, York I, I know you believe that because I city hang Connect. out with you, but, yeah. you got terrible taste in I, everything. Tell me about it. Hats, hats. Oh, the sky, that's the bridge. That's not a skyline, you jackass. Whatever. That's the Brooklyn okay. Bridge. <laughs> that's a bridge. Whatever. Yeah. So that's they look uh, cool. So you got the New York symbol right there, that center, and then the bridge going from one side to the other, and it it you know looks like it. I think TJ's having a stroke. Uh, he said, "What's up, Taint Sacks? Me, President said he likes your show." Is he having a uh, – TJ, you okay? He's already had like a heart attack, hasn't he? 
I don't know. He's already had like one, yeah. Oh, man, that's not good. I'm telling you. That guy, he parties hard. He lives life to the fullest. TJ, wink twice if you're okay, I once seen, if you're not. I haven't seen him in a while. I was uh, I meant to hit him up and Sam to see if they – because we, uh, we like met up at uh, – what the hell is the name of that place? 54th Street or something one time. And so – but then again, I haven't been out there in a while either. I was like, hey, man, let's just go out and get a beer. But, yeah, I just – man, I tell you what, I've been so freaking busy. I was supposed to meet up with Hess and hadn't done that. And I tell you, I just kicked the can down the road. I got nothing but work around the house. When I get done with the office, it's like it's work around the house. I got too much manual labor I'm up to. Just a lot of work. It's so stupid. Work, 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 work. That's, that's <laughs> a that stupid song. <laughs> Like the songs nowadays, they're just sped up songs from our when we were younger. They just put it like one point two five or one point five. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, like TikTok songs, like those songs. Like, is that guy going down? Did you hear him? You have to go into the office now. Rapid Dave does a, a few days a week. Yeah, I go three, three. Yeah, three days a week. I don't. I like it. It gets me out of the house. I don't like being at the house much. Especially <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, but I do like going because uh, I get a lot of work done. So I get I knock out a ton of work in those two to three days, where my other the days it's like you know it's I'm hanging out. You know what I mean, doing yard work or something like that. You right. know, like Monday I clean the filter to the pool and what baby I got that thing sparkling. I'm just waiting on the temperature to rise up, and it's rising quicker than it did last year because of global warming. Thank you very much. Oh. And, uh, well, I also trimmed the tree so now the sun's directly impacting it more hours out of the day. Oh, man, it's okay. going to be a great summer. Great so summer. just found out if someone comments on X, we will see it in StreamYard. I told you. No, you didn't. Yeah, I said you can You've always said it. That we can't see their comments. No one said that. I you said were... no one comments, oh, you jackass. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sick and tired. You know what? I don't understand how you don't get that. Like you're I don't like, understand you told how me you don't that, understand. You told me that. Well, yeah, I go, no, did. I didn't. I know. All work and no didn't. play leaves no room for... You two scream ole. <laughs> I think he's having a stroke, man. I'm just saying. I think he's okay. You think so? I yeah, don't know, sure. man. Um, Whatever. Anyway, special guest tonight, <laughs> we got Brandon Combs. He's going to be joining us here here in about th- what are you, 30 minutes, you say? About 20 yeah, minutes? Uh, about 22 minutes now. It'll be awesome. Can't wait to see him. It's been a while. It really has. How, how does he handle me? How do I handle him, Dude, Jay? I'm telling you right now. He's it is so a, angry. It is a freak. I was about to. You know what? I was five seconds away from saying and cool thing. We have a package coming in from the NDT podcast. We do. But I was going to keep it as a surprise. But now I'm just like, nah, we're getting. But you shirts. already said it. Yeah, we're getting some cool shirts. Yeah, <laughs> and we're gonna have on Corey. I gotta in- invite him on either. Well, or I next mean, next week or the week. You before want that. to? Why did I you say next week him. or the week before that? You haven't be, even asked him. That'd yet. be today. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We gotta have you on on a Wednesday night for like a quick little thirty minute sesh just to talk. Yeah, just talk podcasting or streaming. We want to talk uh, women swimming with you. Oh yes, I'm in on that. Yeah, I like just talking about stuff. Zero yeah. zero. Yeah, Rangers. Uh, game just started. Cool. Yeah, just uh, it, or, or maybe like some some pickleball talk or something like that. God, what the, is the deal with pickleball? <laughs> I don't even get it. It's like you know, it they they like slow down tennis, but then they're like, you know what? It's like small ping pong, tennis, gonna, but big ping pong. Yeah, I don't get. Well, like we needed to bridge the gap or something. I don't get. I don't get. I don't get it. I don't freaking get it. You know what I watched? I watched the uh, gemstones the other day. You remember uh, when? What's her name's boyfriend comes over there and starts playing with BJ and he's talking, he's getting graphic. I was, yeah. He was really graphic. Oh. <laughs> and he's in there just, I mean, he's hitting the ball like hard as hell. I'm like, is that how you play? I've, I've never played freaking pickleball. They're like, Oh, it's so much fun. I go, yeah. I mean, badminton was fun when I was a kid. I don't it was, know. It was great. I play cornhole. Oh my gosh. Marv Dingo's in the house. What is going on? Marv. I've been watching a lot caught, of, uh, I caught him streaming the other morning. I was like, Oh, Marv. Been watching a lot of uh, kangaroo videos lately. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are crazy as hell. Like they just run up on you. They get they go they get punched. They're like, oh, oh, crack it. You know, like, I think like everything in Australia is trying to kill you. That's what they say. Yeah. They say everything down there is just tries to kill. Me. Like that sounds terrifying. Like I right? live in Texas, and I just you know, I, I I thought when I moved to Texas when I was a kid that it was all like sand and cowboys and i was like i'm not going there i like i live five minutes from the beach uh, this is like <laughs> i love it here <laughs> i don't want to move and then you know i haven't left since well i've left yeah, it twice good to hear you're doing good marv man yeah, nice good. we were actually talking about you a couple weeks ago it's like man what's babylon superstar in the house what up the only thing trying to kill me is my wife <laughs> that happens you know that happens 
Oh man, JJ over there on TikTok, what's going on? You know, there's like somebody was talking about like their, their, them and their wife or whatever, and and I was like, you know, the key to it is just shut up. And they're like, what? I go, yeah. I mean, just who cares if you're right? No one cares. The only person that cares is you. I don't even care. The person right. that you're trying to convince that you know you're right in an argument or whatever, they couldn't give a shit. <laughs> they don't care. Yeah. Like they, they, even if you are right, they ain't sure as hell ain't gonna admit. <laughs> ain't I gonna, just look at her now and go, "All right, that's they're, cool." They're not gonna recognize it. Yeah, give them the uh, oh, okay, but don't get you know. I've I've learned that uh, you know doing that okay, that's cool or that some shit like that. It, just, it fires them up a hundred hundred more percent a hundred percent more. And uh, why, why were you talking about your uh, Because we missed you, buddy. Oh, dude, I'm telling missed you. Missed you. And I saw. I just slap I, slaps I, in every once in a while. Like, I lit up. up. Slap? My face lit up. Red. I was so happy. We, we we talk about all our Aussie friends every once in a while. I caught red streaming about a month ago. I was really? like, oh my god! I was like, oh, what man. is going on, man? Oh. I was at work too, and I was like, I was supposed. To- it's like supposed meeting, to be meetings and shit going on. I'm like, nah, man. I gotta. Sorry, I'll, Chase. I can't go. I got, I got shit to do right now. I got. I got important stuff <laughs> happening right now. There's things. My pants is feeling weird. My heart feels. My heart feels funny. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. So I'm drinking that. Eight. <laughs> slip on my headset. And she loses her mind. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a there's a there's a little touch to it that just it works. But so, then you know. I get the silent treatment every so often, and it's like, yeah, so it's the best. I, I think I hit the uh, the goddamn lottery. Like all of a sudden, yeah. I'm like, look, it's like, God, it's so quiet in the house. So I don't nice. know what's going on. Yeah. You like, know, you're not going to talk to me. Oh. And then usually, I have, like I said, I have a fire or something. I'm trying to burn wood out back, so I just go outside and <laughs> hang out like, by the fire. Just outside, burning shit. <laughs> just looking at, just looking at the fire, and just looking at the sky, and I'm like, God, what a beautiful night. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, goddamn beautiful night. Oh, I'm gonna man. start a uh, start a relationship podcast here. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> and I'll put a little little caption there. Don't do this shit if you're not forty. Things, things not to do. <laughs> Don't do it if you're forty. You know, whatever. But yeah. Oh, an ad just popped up on Twitch. I'm like, that is not our screen. It's not- like check out a Paramount Plus. How about no Twitch? <laughs> no. No, nah, I'm good. Yeah. No. I mean, I do want to watch Ted, but. <laughs> that's but. on Peacock. Oh, that's Peacock? Yeah. Oh, then I don't care about it. I thought it was Paramount. No? Someone gave me the. Uh, okay, I don't care about Paramount then. Yeah, someone gave me their, like, hey, we got Paramount or Peacock. And I go, you paid for Peacock? Well, no. Someone gave me the log. It's like, oh, okay. So, of course, that's the first thing we watch is Ted. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, I, I want it. And that's why I say it every week, people. I know I say it. Every, I know it. I want to watch Community. I just can't, I can't get my heart to do it. I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> All the laughs they come with it. They come with a price, and it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you in the end. I'm trying to drink this beer as fast as I can because I got some uh, bourbons in there waiting for me. Alan said, "Drink beer first. It'll it'll chill you out." Like, <laughs> no, I just said you won't be as out of control as quick. Oh, okay. There you yeah. go. Oh God, it's just it's just been a long week, man. It it has <laughs> been like been staying busy with you know we we've really. We're, this baseball season, we're really leaning into the SB Baseball Podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm doing daily MLB recaps. Uh, we started up our X account last week. If you guys haven't gone and give us a follow over there yet, if you don't mind, go ahead and give us a follow. Yeah, if you want uh, to. We're, we're waiting for our first real person to follow us over there. So far, it's a bunch of bots. I do like the bots, though. They're hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So damn hot. Uh, TJ said, Bourbon, screw the beer chug it. Man, no, I'm not want to get, chug get into it. the good stuff. I'm trying to, yeah. trying to. We've got the YouTube page for SP Baseball, but we're, we're throwing a bunch of baseball content out there right now. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm definitely enjoying it, having fun with it, doing the the recaps every day. Um, waking up early, recording it, or doing it late at night and recording it and dropping it every morning around between six and eight. Doing it typically, doing it and doing it. Yeah, but uh, a lot of fun with that and just just everything. We're getting into fantasy football season. We're actually in the middle of doing a uh, dang old Marty. What's going on? What's up, buddy? How are you? Uh, our rookie draft in one of our dynasty leagues. Yeah, we're on day two of it. God. It's only three rounds, but it's just one of those things where it's like every person gets four hours to make their pick. It's killing me. Uh, you guys think the Rangers will repeat? Uh. I mean, repeat what? <laughs> well, I gotta get this one. <laughs> got beef jerky on my too. I got a little excited. When I got home. And I was like shoveling beef jerky in my mouth. That's good. That's that's probably good for you. You like the beef jerky? Or you like the beef sticks? Uh more jerky. 
yeah, jerky guy. Jerky, yeah. I had a. I haven't had a Slim Jim in probably twenty. Marty's years. Marty's over at Old School's house. Oh, nice. Let's go. Melton's in the house. My least favorite podcast. What's going on, fellas? What's up, buddy, like the haircut. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, Melton. Yeah, I uh, I got a I got my hands on a Slim Jim that I haven't eaten one in forever. I was I was in CVS perusing uh, their salted porks and meats. I don't meats. think I've had a, uh, one of those in like. 20 years. Yeah. yeah, that's why I said 20 freaking years. <laughs> the damn thing was this big around. That big around. Real penisy. It, well, I mean, is that what? <laughs> that's pretty thin. Pretty, pretty, not a lot of circumference for a wiener. Hey, but, uh, so it was about they come this, in all shapes and sizes. It was about this long. It's it's thinner because it's longer. <laughs> it was about this long. And I was like, all right. And it was, it was some clearance. It was like a buck. I was like, I'm in. <laughs> CVS has a great meat selection. <laughs> yeah. I was perusing their salted meats, and uh, yeah, I was like, "Holy moly!" It's just picture Jay going, "Babe, I gotta go to CVS and eat some more meat." <laughs> I got it. it. Ain't the damn thing. I was like, uh, but the whole time in my head, every time I was about to take a bite, you just ooh, yeah, snap into a slim jim. It was like snap into a slim jim, and you know, Macho, macho Man in my right head. There. And yeah. I was like, and I was like, wow, am I just am I stupid or am I having like a stroke? Like it, can it, I could not, it could it not be both? Why I, does it have to be one or the other? Can I not just eat food and not have like a voice in my head? Stupid people have strokes too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I suppose so. But yeah, so after every every bite, it's like snap it to a slim jim. I'm like, oh my god, shut up, stupid, shut up. Do you do that like as you're taking the bite? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And it it was tough to snap into because it's, it's thicker, right? Thicker, so right, you know, right. A lot of meat in that. Stick. I mean, you were just complaining because it wasn't thick enough a second ago. <laughs> it was plenty thick. I'm saying that you compared it to a wiener, <laughs> and it's like, buddy, I just go it's that big around, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, you've heard it? the term pencil dick before, right? <laughs> I've heard That's my bigger than pencil dick. I, I've got a shameful uh, confession. I've heard my mom use that phrase before. <laughs> <laughs> we had a traumatic childhood <laughs> i'm sure that'll put me on a you know how you like uh keep extending the do not call yeah that's fucking that'll extend me another fucking six months we're blocked so it yeah. doesn't even matter <laughs> gee i like to enjoy a good good old summer sausage on a nice sunny day <laughs> Now that's a that's a girthy shit right there. You get you a big old summer sausage. I did. I picked up a big log. They call them logs because they're you know they're they're girthy. But yeah, I picked up a nice little summer sausage and I was like, yeah, you know what? Why not, man? I'll have a little summer sausage later. Then some cheese. Get some cheese. Chop it up. Get a little charcuterie action going on. I was uh there was some Gouyer or something like so. Gouyer popped up on. It was said like on TV Sounds or the fancy. radio. It is fancy. The only reason very I, fancy. The only reason I know what that is. It's from the league. Because you're fancy. Yeah, I'm fancy, obviously. And so Lizzie goes, what the hell is that? I go, it's a cheese. It's a soft cheese, actually. And, uh, cheese. <laughs> and she goes, what? How the hell do you know what that is? I go, well, I was watching the league one day, and Russell fell off the wagon. <laughs> oh, and he starts, and he's porking this block of cheese. <laughs> Because everything is his trigger. Yeah, everything. he's a sex addict, and everything's his trigger. And so... He's sitting what there was with Rafi. Cocaine in a beard's my trigger. <laughs> Apparently, cocaine in a, in a man's beard's a trigger. And so, and as as Russell's pork in this block of cheese, he's yelling. He goes, "Hard D, soft cheese." I go, "Oh, it's soft cheese." It's like, <laughs> and uh, what's his name? Andre's ex wife is rolling through there blind. She goes, "Is someone having sex with Couillier?" <laughs> And that's how I know. That's how I know what it is. It's TV, man. TV, TV will fix you. It's it's a seasonal cheese that hails from France. <laughs> I didn't well, think we were going to have a cheese sex talk on the the program today, hey, but, but tune in. You never know. I tell you what, it, it just that's just how it goes. You when know. you talk about the league, uh-huh. there's multiple different food items that you could be referring to. Oh, what he's had sex with? Yeah, because Rafi had, <clears throat> had his. Uh, Watermelon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was talking about Russell. With the front door and the back door. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> who, who jumps over? Was it Taco jumps over the couch and he, fl- he she was pregnant? <laughs> there were shades. 
Oh, buddy, there's nothing but, you know, Rafi's just hanging out in Kevin's house. I got to go back and watch it. Now, I used to watch, uh, Liz and I were actually talking about this the other day. It was like, it was one of those shows that I had on, especially during, like, say, the pandemic, like the last five years. Um, it was a show that I would I would just burn through that and Trailer Park Boys. I'd go straight through all of them, watch it, and, and you know, it's easy to go through it because, one, there's not a lot of seasons, or not not a lot of seasons, not a lot of episodes 20 per something, season. 20-minute 20, 20 episodes, right? Right. Horton's in the house. Too hot to handle. <laughs> Horton, I almost invited you over tonight because uh, I was going to get your talk or your thoughts on the uh, the Dallas Cowboy draft, but uh, I figured y'all were playing, uh, y'all had a game tonight. But uh, yeah, we got to have you over the house, I guess, during the next off season or maybe a rainy day or something. <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> excuse me, but someone's here. Someone's <laughs> going on out there. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, I think that, he's watching Bonanza. You know, you sit there and watch that whole show, and I it's like you know. We're just scratching the surface for, like, say, fantasy football. We we did our fantasy show or uh, fantasy recording today. We're in talking our, rookies. We're in our dynasty draft right now as we speak. You've got a couple more picks left. I don't, you know, I just don't want to jump into it too far too quick, man. Because I, I like, I enjoy my summers. I really do, and I enjoy my time off from fantasy because it takes so much out of you, like throughout the season, like right. the. You you can't even enjoy yourself. I, I just heard that, so I know what that means. You know what that means, but uh, I. I'm trying to chill. I'm not going to watch the league until, you know, say July. So I've got like a couple months okay, okay. before I'm like, okay, I'm going to fire it and watch it. Because I definitely have to watch it before we do the draft. I have to, yeah. before draft day, you know, get my mind right. I'm the returning champ. I don't know if you know that. I, I didn't. I didn't. You know, I want to roll in there with the right mindset, right? So I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward. I was pretty sure it was an uh, old world wooden ship that was used during the Civil War era. You know, that's the funniest part of that quote. Used during the Civil War era. era. <laughs> Holy shit. Someone just flew out of my street backwards. <laughs> they were driving it. backwards? They were driving backwards. <laughs> this is, well, I don't understand I don't what is going on right now. It's been a while since we got some crazy shit happening. Yeah. <laughs> Going forward. All right. He was like, oh, going the wrong way. Yeah. He's like, R doesn't mean really fast. Who knew? Who knew? This baby hits 88 miles per hour. You're going to see some serious yeah. shit. That makes me think of the time when I was in that, back when we were still in the office uh, and I was in that training class and we were talking about diversity and I raised, <laughs> everyone was kind of quiet and I raised my hand and I was like, yeah, I was like, uh, I believe it's an old, old wooden ship from the, <laughs> and just nothing. And everyone just quiet. I go, nothing? Oh, all right God. that's cool yeah <laughs> no it's when you know when you work with a bunch of lame people and it's funny because like that was prime time act up like oh. you know what i mean like you know say jokes and have fun but yeah there's always someone that wants to ruin your day right just like you're just trying to have fun and they're just that's being it. pricks just trying to lighten the mood a little bit you know we're we're all we're all supervisors we're in this training class that we may we might not want to be in right mm-hmm. So let's uh, bring a little levity to the situation, but no, no swing and a miss, Al. It was, I was so like, I was like, I, I think I just might quit. Like, it's all about just walking out. Would have saved me some time. Uh, how? Yeah, I mean, you would have been, you would have been out of the company, wouldn't been hanging out as much. It would have been good. I don't know what I would have done with my life. I might have been thriving right now. I mean, this wasn't that long ago. Oh, yeah, close <laughs> enough. <laughs> I just need more. I just need my time back. <laughs> We hang out like once a week. I don't understand what the problem is. You know what? This. <laughs> You're so angry. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. I've been laughing since the damn show started. I'm fine. Yeah, Everything's fine here. Yeah. What are we talking about tonight? What do we got? Uh, uh, penises, apparently. Oh, shit. You know what? It's a, We're six minutes. Penises. Hey, we'll ask Comb. Is he a lefty or a righty or a shrinker? You know, are you a grower or a shower? That's what we'll do. <laughs> Combs, if you're ready, uh, we don't want to hold you up. We don't want to leave you in the back there for too long. If you're ready, give us a thumbs up, and we'll get you in here. All, all right. right. All right. This, he's been on the show before. He's joined us before, guys. We had to bring on a Bears expert because, as we all know, the Bears are going to win the next 15 Super Bowls. He's going to break it down for us. The Bears. Tell us all about it. He is one of the, the hosts of Combs and Fitz, Windy City Sports Talk. Let's hear for one Mr. Brandon Combs. Uh, you know what I probably should have done? What is hit going the... on here? We're supposed to hit the applause, bring him in. <laughs> Raw, it's a theme. This is... You could have done something. He just kind of like I can't the... do anything. It's He kicks the microphone I away. I did my part. Combs, how are you? <laughs> I, I am fantastic, man. How are you guys? You, you know, just we're fighting just, like just always. living the dream, man. Just living the dream. 
<laughs> that's all. That's all it's about. <laughs> that's it, man. <sighs> the, the trick is to find out whose dream it is. Yeah. It's it's something. That's, that's a nightmare. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's just. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like we're just trying not to make it a nightmare. But every day we wake up, it's the same just damn nightmare. Same stuck thing. in hell. <laughs> just stuck just, in hell. Just trying not to die every day. <laughs> Speaking of, of, of the nightmare, I heard you talking about the guy driving backwards down your street. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this afternoon, I'm over at WGN Radio in Chicago, Ooh. and I park in a parking garage. So and fancy. I'm leaving the parking garage. I put my ticket into the machine. It eats the ticket. So I hit the little help button, and they said, oh, yeah, well, if you don't have a ticket, it's going to cost $100. Whoa. It's a bull. <laughs> you know what? I... I put my ticket in there. There's no way. So they're like, no, you have to pay $100. I said, all right. So I backed out. I waited for somebody else to leave, and I gunned it right behind them. <laughs> a hundred right, bucks. A hundred bucks. That That's is insane. crazy. I would have just walked over to the other side and pushed the button for the ticket. I tried that, That's but it. it reads whether or not you have a car. Oh, oh okay. It's all been right. done, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They got y'all figured out. <laughs> Just scammers. <laughs> How the hell have you been, man? I've been good, man. I'm making moves, doing doing me. Yeah. What are you? All right. So what all are you doing right now? What do you got your hand in? So I'm working on trying to get in with actually WGN Radio or uh, 670 The Score, which is the biggest sports radio station in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I've been working on doing uh, producer stuff, uh, on air talent stuff. But I'm also calling games for University of Chicago. I'll be uh, the play-by-play this year for the uh, Chicago Dogs. Um, so it's I, I'm I'm loving life, man. I, I get paid right now to talk sports. Ugh, it's I mean, wonderful, man. It's, right? Like it's like, cool, right? could I do it? Like, ah, uh, no, I probably could not do it. <laughs> I'd love to do it, but I just don't think. Hey, you know, I just don't have it. I don't have the attention span or the skill or the talent or anything. That shit. <laughs> you know, apparently I you work a it. little too blue over there. Yeah, yeah, it just doesn't. Beyond beyond that, like I had the support of my wife, right? Like she, when I first started taking this jump, she's like, "Just quit your job." And, and I did, and I took this big leap of faith, and it worked. Right. You know, there you go. That's awesome, man. Absolutely. And then we tell everybody, like you know, like as far as streaming, podcasting, anything, right? You, you got to have your wife. The wife, your wife has to have your back. Yeah, because she doesn't yeah. want you to do it. <laughs> it's gonna be hell the entire time. She's gonna be awful. I tell her all the time. That's why we're still married. She never sees me. <laughs> so she's figured it out. She's, yeah, <laughs> she's, she's like, no, quit your job, go do all this stuff. <laughs> Right. Then there are a couple more things I'll, you could be doing. All right. Just add a couple more things on. God. <laughs> all right. So Alan has questions. I guess you know about like uh, the Bears are going to win the next 15 Super Bowls. Is that what you told me? Wow. That's what I hear, man. Oh, God. I mean, the Bears fans are just – you draft a quarterback because, I mean, every every quarterback who does good in college always does good in the NFL. Like there, there's <laughs> the, one, the one one always. There's never a bust. Never a bust. <laughs> Never. Right. <laughs> I mean, they're already planning the parade routes. Right. Yeah. Like, you well, traded for Keenan Allen, who's like 87 years old. You know, you get a good four games out of him this year. I love Keenan Allen. You, watch <laughs> your you, you guys have to understand that here in Chicago, we have this thing that I like to call BTSD. It's Bears Traumatic Stress Disorder. <laughs> and, and what happens with Bears Traumatic Stress Disorder is that when we see something good happen, we're so shocked that we think that the whole world is going to revolve around what the Bears are doing. <laughs> and, and it's just not the case. I'll tell you guys right now, same thing I said. We we did an NFL draft show. Caleb Williams was the third quarterback on my quarterback board. Really? So I would have been happier had they gone Drake May or had they gone Bo Nix. Bo Nix, really? Okay. Yeah, I had them two at the as the top two. Interesting. Um, I just what I've seen from Bo Nix and in the things that he does, he's he's ridiculous, man. He's he's going to be the next Justin Herbert, the guy that everybody's like, oh, he needs a year or two, and then just comes out and sets things on fire. Mm. 
and then just always chokes when it's time. To he's, come just, through. Well, <laughs> he's having some tough I mean, times right now. Come on, man. Come he, on. he he did lead them to a playoff game where they had a thirty point lead at halftime and then blew and lost. It. Yeah. I'll but always th- remember he where I play was. Defense. <laughs> he does not. He does not. But he doesn't play offense in the second half either. He, he could have scored That's like true. one more touchdown. <laughs> it's just, you just need a field goal. I, I think. mean, yeah, he could have got him in field goal range like one more, one old, one last time for a old time save. Right now, yeah. now I will say I am on board with you about Kalen Williams not being the next great thing. Like I think there are definitely some red flags there. Um, you saw him choke in some pretty big college games. And we'll see, right? Well, and, well, here's the, and how's that offensive line? I mean, it's gotten much better, right? It has gotten much better. Has it? It, it, it has, actually. I mean, okay. they went out and got Ryan Bates. Uh, they got, I can't remember his name. They got another center that they went and signed. The center that they signed grades really well in pass blocking and run blocking. It was something like 630 snaps, and he only had allowed 13 um pressures okay is that uh coleman shelton yes okay and so the bears offensive line has gotten better and includes the left tackle that they drafted in the third round this this year so the bears have gotten a little better and plus they've put caleb williams in a better situation than they've ever put any quarterback ever so if caleb doesn't succeed right now with the Bears he wasn't going to succeed anywhere the Bears right now have the best offense they've ever had I mean mean, they didn't they didn't do Justin Fields any favors let's just say that no they just left him out there to hang and just I mean just out out to dry if they got all this talent then they said bye yeah I thought it was funny that in Keenan Allen's press conference he talked about how he was super excited to play with Justin Fields and they're like oh buddy hey oh yeah hold on uh, yeah, about that. I, <laughs> I was a Justin Fields guy. I was let's build around Justin, do all yeah. those things. Yeah. But as it goes, my thing is just get it right. Just win. Find yeah. a way to get it right. And if that means Caleb Williams, then fine. My actual NFL comp for Caleb Williams heading into the draft is Justin Fields. Okay. Interesting. A guy that holds onto the ball too long, uh, can make plays happen with his legs. Uh, has a big arm to shoot downfield. All the things you see from Justin Fields, but what the Bears did was buy, buy themselves five more years on a rookie contract. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I liked I liked Justin Fields. I really did. I thought he was fun to watch, and he just kind of got a bad break. They didn't do anything for him. Didn't help him at all. You know, swapping out, what is it, uh, the offensive coordinators I th- uh, both years, yeah. you know, or whatever, and or the last two years, I should say. But yeah, it was just like, come on, man, just get this guy some help. Like, let him, consistency. Let, him, let him run wild. You know what I mean? Let him do what he, he's good at. You know, on the move, he can throw the ball. I mean, he's not terrible, but, well, he was under pressure the entire season. Yeah, Luke Getze didn't do him any, any favors either, right? Because instead of working to his strengths, every time something would work, they'd go right back to the three- to five-step drop. And that's just not Justin Fields' game. He's no. not a pocket passer. No. Yeah. I mean, he can throw, but you know, he's not a pocket like sit there. He's gonna he's gonna roll out. You know what I mean? Right. Or, or buy time or something like that, and then be able to chunk it downfield. Or I thought him and DJ Moore were phenomenal together. I liked watching them play. I'm a DJ Moore fan. You know, I thought I was like, oh, I was excited with him going to Chicago, and yeah. just like, all right, you know, it, they did good together. And DJ Moore had some big weeks. Yeah, but it just they just screwed him. They just screwed over Fields. Yeah, they were just... calling plays that were like not his game. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what the hell they were doing. It, it was just a bad coaching hires right like hiring Luke Getzey everybody's like oh he worked with uh, Aaron Rodgers and in all this and he was never an offensive coordinator so you brought in a rookie offensive coordinator to work with a rookie quarterback and it just never works when you do that yeah and it just you didn't have a lot of talent around him um just I don't know that it, it, it I, I'm scared the Bears will just bears it up again like, because that's what they do, you know. Now you guys are excited because you haven't had a real quarterback in ever, really. Like a, a real quarterback or three number one wide receivers, and that's kind of what they got right now. Yeah, you definitely got some talent there, receiving wise. Now, running back wise, I'm not a big. 
Swift, I, he, I don't think Swift just has that. I don't think he has that dog in him. He, he doesn't have that. You made that comment on yeah. YouTube last year, and boy, you got roasted. Oh, okay, because he had a career <laughs> game, and then he disappeared after that. That one game. Yeah. Alan made some bold predictions for that one game, and boy, the internet came after his ass. Yeah. It's our mo- it was our most viewed video over yeah. there. DeAndre Swift, I think, will be used more of a um, like how the New England Patriots used to use their running backs. He's going to be used a lot in the passing game out of the backfield. Roshan Johnson, I think, is going to be their number one runner. Okay. I don't know if you guys remember watching him in Texas at all. I don't know if you guys are Longhorns fans. I know you're from no, Texas. But but... We've seen him. Yeah, they're always on TV around here. Yeah, yeah. yeah Roshan Johnson is beast, mm-hmm. and, and he's a downhill runner. So I, I think he's going to be their best actual running back. But I think the DeAndre Swift stuff is going to be a lot of the get out of the backfield, you know, maybe an extra blocker all of that stuff, and then run a screen pass. Like, he's going to be that guy. And I know Bears fans go crazy when I say screen pass because we watched 95 of them per game last year. <laughs> hey, that's what kept those fantasy points alive for the running backs. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's 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 a change of pace, right? He's a, he's a change of pace guy. He can get mm. things done when he's not the main guy doing it. You know what I mean? When he's a rando dude, he, get things, he can get things done. Yeah. But I think Johnson's going to be there. Yeah, you're right. Johnson's going to be there starting their their lead back, their first two downs. But, I mean, I think Johnson could do it all anyways. But Swift is a good changeup. Yeah. Busby says Herbert's criminally underrated. He, uh, dude, I like I Khalil Herbert. I like him. I like him a lot. I, I, I think he's underrated, but he's also – he can't stay healthy. That's the problem with Herbert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's an issue. That's a problem there. So – Overall, you happy with the Bears draft? It's the first time in my life that I left round one of the draft and was like, wow, the Bears did it right. <laughs> what what grade would you give them? I'm going to go with a B plus. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go with a B plus. I, I, I didn't really care for the, the edge rusher, Austin Booker out of Kansas. He got a, a four string edge rusher. And I wasn't too sure about why you would draft a punter in the fourth round. I know he's the best punter out there. People are like, oh, you watch his tape. I'm like, all you have to do is watch an Iowa game because he's out there more than the offenses. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't really understand those two picks. But if I'm going with just by the first and second round and then the left tackle in the third round, it's probably closer to an A. Okay. All right. Did, did you see? Was it Caleb Williams who tweeted the punter? Just said, "Hey, you're not going to have a lot of work here." Yes. <laughs> like, don't worry fantastic. about it, pal. Don't, don't worry about it, buddy. You could just stay seating over there. Yeah. And, and see, that was the when they started talking Caleb Williams. My worry was his headspace. How's he going to deal with the third largest market in the country? How's he going to handle failure? How's he going to handle all this stuff? But the more and more I actually heard him speak and not like his camp speak, I started to be less worried about that. I like the cockiness. I like the the shrewdness. And I don't care. Look, pink phone case, pink lipstick, pink fingernails. Bro, if you're winning football games on Sundays, you can come to every game in a sundress, and I would not care. Show up Just like Machine win. Gun Kelly, but you're winning. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you're just like okay. be Machine Gun Kelly in a so. sundress. So he's like, yeah, but I'm begging Megan Fox. <laughs> Not anymore. They broke up. So you know, but it, here's the thing, though. He's got to watch the cockiness a little bit because mm-hmm. if week one he comes out and the punter's out there five or six times. <laughs> It, that tweet is going to get retweeted a million times over. Yes. It's going to be just, he's just going to get beaten down with it. I don't, I don't, oh. hear, I don't hear him. Oh, just, crap. You, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I muted you, bud. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to hear me anymore no. either. I was like, you know what? Let me just get rid of this guy. <laughs> no, someone said a heavy echo. And I'm like, ah, let me check real quick. Uh, but no, it's uh it, I don't know what happened. No idea. Oh, Much it's better. back. Oh, it's back. Okay. All right. Who knows? Okay. All right. <laughs> so I, I was saying, I like, when it comes to, like, the cockiness and, and all that stuff, 
Like, I'm not worried because I want my guy to be cocky, right? Yeah. Like, I want him to to be that guy who the, Michael Jordan was cocky. Yeah. But when it comes to Caleb Williams and this Bears fan base, he could go five and zero oh with 500 yards passing per game. And then if week six, he plays the Green Bay Packers and loses, he's going to lose his fan base. Yeah. So it, it's it's going to be like, you're right. He's got to be cautious with the cockiness, but I'm okay with what I've heard from him so far. Okay. All right. Um, so overall NFL draft, what's what? give me a pick that you loved and a pick that you just did not understand. Uh, pick that I did not understand first. <laughs> Michael Penix Jr. <laughs> right. <laughs> you you give a quarterback $180 million in four years, and I don't care what anybody says, Michael Penix would have been available in round two. Nobody else is picking up Michael Penix. Okay. And you you just paid a guy $180 million over four years, and you yeah. did nothing to make him get better. You picked his replacement. Right. How does that make sense? It, it doesn't make any sense at all. I did see reports today that they tried to trade back in to the, the top 10 um, to try and pick someone else up, but they weren't able to. So Yeah, because everybody in the top 10 was going crazy after they picked Michael Penix because now everybody else's guys were falling into place. Yep. And nobody was more exact than I was because I thought Romo Dunsip was off the board. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that he was still there was kind of okay. Yeah. And then what about a pick that you that you just absolutely loved? Uh, the pick that I absolutely loved was Bo Nix to the Broncos. Okay. I, I think they are getting a fantastic quarterback, second quarterback on my board. But not only that, they're getting a quarterback that Sean Payton is going to work wonders with. Okay. And then they drafted a... Uh, who's who's that wide receiver that they drafted that should do pretty good for him too? Um, oh, the um, Tr- Troy. Yeah, I can't remember his name off the top. I'm trying to remember it off the top of my head. Troy Franklin. There we go, Troy Franklin, which was yep. Bo Nix's wide receiver at Oregon. Yep. Mm-hmm. And what, then um, they got Audric Estime out of. Yeah, I actually uh, drafted him in. We got a dynasty league where we're doing a rookie draft right now, and I just I just selected him. I, I who's think, that? Uh, Audric Estime. Oh yeah, Audra Gustame is is a stud. Uh, yeah. He is uh, King Henry 2.0 is what I call him because he's not quite going to be King Henry, right? But he's got that King Henry build, that King Henry size, and he's got crazy hands out of the backfield. I watched him a lot at Notre Dame. I'm a big Notre Dame fan. Um, I watched him a lot out of there. I love Audra Gustame. He's going to be a fantastic back. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Because like I said, I just took him. And I need running backs. My running backs are just garbage in that league. Uh, <laughs> but I, I inherited a team that just had bad, bad players, and then yeah. they had like traded away all their draft picks, and it was just like, oh, this is just awful. So yeah, um, the NFL draft for people that have those, um, uh, those, those dynasty leagues. Like I'm in a dynasty league too. Mm-hmm. The, the night after the draft, we had our dynasty draft. Yeah, so we we started yeah. ours yesterday. And it's okay. we're not getting together for it apparently. Uh, well, no, we're not. There's no apparent about it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and like right. everyone has like four hours to make their pick. Uh, so we're still, oh, wow. yeah, That's we're a lot of time. We're, we're in the last round. We're on round three, and just the team that's been ready to pick. It's been like a couple hours now, and I'm just kind of waiting. Like, come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're in the last round of the draft. Like, it's just you're just grabbing someone now. Like, so I do a yearly draft. That's a lot of fun. It's a big money league, um, and we we go we do live. We would go we go golfing in the morning. Oh, we drink a lot while we're golfing. Yep. Then we go back to a buddy's house. We play bags, and we're drinking while we're playing bags. And then we do the live draft. And then if anybody, we give a uh, two minute time limit for the picks. Mm-hmm. And if anybody gets down to like ten seconds or whatever, we all start counting down. <laughs> and two years ago. Um, it was just, yeah, it's two years ago. It was the first round and this kid was just lit and we knew he was lit. So we started <laughs> counting down and he had the third overall pick and he was like, uh, uh, Danny Woodhead. <laughs> <laughs> and 
we all just lost it. Oh, no. Just lost it. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Um, so you ready to talk a little baseball? Give me some Wes Walker. Wes Walker. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to talk a little baseball there, buddy? I'm always ready to talk baseball. So you do stuff for the for the, for the the White Sox, right? What are you yeah, doing for the White doing, Sox? Yeah, uh, I was doing WBIG. I was just doing um, a little bit of – it's just basically – it was a we we WBIG out of Aurora here in Illinois. They carry the White Sox broadcast. So basically, all I was doing was inputting commercials, bringing them, okay. it, you know, fading things in, fading things out, just radio Some behind the behind the scenes type stuff. Yeah, and yeah. you show you show up for work day one to work f- for the White Sox. Wearing yeah. wearing your Cubs hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um. So let me ask you this. Are we witnessing the worst team in baseball history with the White Sox? It certainly seems that way. I mean, look, the worst team in baseball history, the Cleveland Spiders, I believe it was like, what, 1898 or something like that, where they went 20 and 134. And a lot of people don't remember, but they were like 19. Of course, nobody remembers because it was in the 1800s. But they were 19 and 93. Before they were twenty and one thirty four to finish the season. Oh god! Oh, wow, that that team was infinitely bad. I, I think you stumble upon thirty wins if you, you accidentally win thirty wins in today's baseball, right? Like you, I know it's May first, and and they're still stuck on six wins. Um, well, they just doubled that with that la- with a series where they swept the was it the Rays they yeah, swept right? They, they had a nice little sweep against the Rays, and then they just got swept by the Twins. Yeah. They haven't beat the Twins all year. Uh, it's the second. It's already May first, and they've already lost two season series to two division rivals. Oh no, that's not good. That's, that's not good. good at all. So I don't know if they're going to be the worst of all time, um, but they could be the worst in modern history. Um, you know, the the worst since the nineteen hundred one twenty. Right? Was it the the Mets team that lost one twenty? Yeah, they were really bad. I think Detroit had a really bad year. We didn't hit that um, 120, though, buddy. Ago. Let me tell you, I was celebrating that year. I think we finished at, like, 118 or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was really, really bad, right? Like It wasn't good. I don't know, I don't know if they can – I mean, I, at this point, look, I, I'm a Cubs fan. I don't root against the White Sox. I don't hate the White Sox. Okay. Um, I, I actually – like, I'm going to a White Sox game next week. I want to try the milkshake. Okay, that's so all the talk. There's yeah, people getting custom jerseys made for this milkshake. Well, well, here's the thing about the milkshake, though. They're they're selling out of them by like the fifth inning. They're not making enough milkshakes, and they're selling out by the fifth inning. So even the milkshake is underperforming. Oh no! So, so that's that's really bad. Um, but I'm going there next week. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there. I'm going to a Cubs game next week too. Okay. Um, but I, I want to go try the milkshake. I, I don't hate the White Sox, so I really don't like. I want them to do. Well. I think the city deserves better. I think their fan base deserves better. It's the Cardinals that I can't stand. I mean, you. I don't think anybody likes the t- Cardinals, though. Let's just be honest. Are you, are you a Rangers fan? No, no, I'm a Tigers fan. Oh, you're a Tigers fan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, out there, you're in Texas, so out there in Texas with with fans of the Rangers or fans of the Astros. Is it one or the other? Like, oh yeah, no, no. Rangers, Rangers fans, fan, you can't like the Astros. Uh, 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 Rangers fans hate the Astros. Fuck them Astros. Yeah, see, yeah. that's stupid. Oh, buddy, you're about you're ready to get Rapid Dave to go off on a tangent here. Oh God. <laughs> Let me, uh, me, me and Dave need to have a talk because <laughs> I'm on a delay. <laughs> I had to check audio one more time and get me a drink. I, I say this about White Sox and Cubs rivalries. And I say this about the fan bases. Ninety percent of fan bases are just they're they're stupid, right? Like the fans are just they're they're just they want to go out, they want to cheer, and they want to drink, and they want to get drunk and, and whatever. But then there's the other ten percent of the fan base that actually like understands the game and all this stuff. Like me, I hate the Cardinals, I hate the Brewers. I'll I'll never cheer for those teams ever unless they decided to pay me to work for them. Then then I'll cheer for them. So, <laughs> Money, but, yeah, right, right, exactly. But I don't understand like White Sox and Cubs. Like we play each other four times a year, and it's not even a good rivalry. Well, White Sox suck. 
Well, yeah, but I mean, even when great, the White Sox yeah. were good, like back in 2007, 2008, both teams were in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. I just, I didn't, I didn't understand the, I, I still don't understand. I, when I was a kid, it was one thing because I like to talk crap with my friends and, and, and banter back and forth. I still do that with White Sox fans. My co host is a White Sox fan. So I, I'll give him grief every once in a while. But I get just as angry about the White Sox being terrible as I do about the Cubs when they do something stupid. Oh, no. Like, no. Hey, uh, so was the White Sox when they went when they made that run to the play? Did are they the ones that got swept? Did they get swept in the World Series? I feel like the Cardinals swept them or something like that. Sounds no, like the it. White Sox. The last time that they were the uh, that in the World Series, they won it. They swept the Astros. Ah, that's what it was. <laughs> Them Astros. I was a Sox fan that day, buddy. I had a White Sox <laughs> hat back in the day. You know, it was like you know, I used yeah. to have. I got hats from all these different teams or whatever. But yeah. So you can't you you can't cheer for so the Astros are your big. That's a whole other. You guys are in the same division though, at least. Yeah, that's a whole other state away. I mean, hell, the Astros Astros like Houston's like four and a half hours, four hours from here. But if you when they were in the National League, were they was it still? Yeah, you don't like the Astros because they're the Astros. I just don't like them. I don't like their fans. I think that's what it is. I don't like their fans. I think it boils down to from the cheating scandal though too. Oh yeah, buddy. I think that's where all this hate that it, trash it, is thing. coming from. I did have a really cool Astros. Hat. Oh, I just bit my tongue. I had a cool Astros <laughs> hat when I was like in sixth grade. You know, back when it was just a star yeah. going yeah. across. Yeah. You know, I like hats. You know, and I got hats from, like I said, from all over the MLB or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I remember having that one. I was like, oh, that's cool. Marvel Astros White Sox fan because I call that the Kerry Wood logo. There you yeah. Go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only White Sox. Yeah. yeah. White Sox fan because of MJ back in the nineties. Ah, there go. you go. Yeah, I watched them then too. I was like, you know, I don't. Yeah, you know, I think there's like really only one team that I hate, and I, it, I think it is the Astros. Astros. But it, like I said, it's just the fans. <laughs> it's the fans and their cheating sons of bitches. That's why you're not a big fan of the Cardinals, though. I mean, it's not the Cardinals' fault <laughs> that Ron Washington had a like a seizure or a stroke in the from doing too much blow in the ninth inning to take Cruz out of right field. That's not their fault. And it's not their fault the that that du- the Dutch oven couldn't throw a strike that one night. Remember at that bar? We're yeah. like, I swear to God, I'll pay we're this guy hundred dollars. Yeah, we're, we're, I was like, I'll pay this guy hundred dollars a strike if he just starts throwing right now. <laughs> MF couldn't buy a strike. It's so great. Anyways, now I, I went to a bar. We were here in Dallas, uh, wandering about one day. I think for my friends' like bachelor party or something like that. And um, you know, it was back when I was drinking Bud Light. And I was like, you know, I was like, hey, uh, can I get a butt? Like, no, we don't serve St. Louis beer here. I'm like, what are you mad at them for? <laughs> like, it's like, so there's, there's a bar around the street from my house. It's a White Sox bar, and I'll go there all the time because it's right around the corner from my house. And I'll go there during Cubs games. And I'll go there specifically when Jameis and Tyon is pitching because they give a free round of drinks to everybody at the bar when a Cubs pitcher serves up a walk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So I'll You're like, go there with my Cubs gear on, and I'm like, all right, free round. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here for the beer, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, uh, let's see. Mean, but that's it. I mean, when you have those those rivalries, like I just, for me, again, it's, it's Cardinals, Brewers, you know, to hell with those guys. It's, but the White Sox, I don't, I don't really hate them. But yeah, I did. The first, my first day of work, uh, working with the White Sox, I, I wore my Cubs hat. I wore go. my Cubs hat every time. Uh, Dylan Busby asked, did you guys talk about the new Bears arena uh, stadium? I'm sure he says stadium. What, what no, he said arena. I mean, I it says arena, it. but yeah. it's like, you know, they're not playing with like the AAC or anything like that. Well, I heard the Bears are getting relegated to the Arena Football League. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're going to be playing it's... the Alouettes next week. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, I like the rendering. Have you seen the – I'm sure you have. What's yeah. your thoughts on it? Uh, if it happens, Awesome. I, I I still don't know where you're gonna park down there. That's the problem with with Soldier Field now, is that you know to leave that stadium, getting in there is not that bad, but to leave that stadium after a game is three hours. No kid out of there. It's it's so bad. And when I saw the renderings, I'm like, okay, cool renderings, cool park, cool everything. Uh, where's the parking? Yeah, you're right <laughs> on the water. No parking. It well, the problem is is right where they're at. So that's called Lakeshore Drive. Mm-hmm. And on the other side of it is obviously the lake. And on the right side, it's it's one-way traffic. Mm. You can't, like, cut across. It's one way, and it goes all the way down Lakeshore Drive, which is 11 miles before you can turn around and come back the other way to get on the expressway. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. It, and it's it's really, really poor. 
I really want them to go to um, Arlington Heights where they bought that racetrack. Uh, they've got uh, something like uh, I forget what it was, like eleven hundred acres of land oh, wow. that they purchased. Why aren't they building a stadium there? It's in the suburbs. It's there's not going to be a lot of traffic. You could build a casino out there. You could build a whole ent- entertainment district, plus a new stadium. And I mean, it would be phenomenal. Instead, they're like, "Oh no, we're going to do this." I think that this rendering for Chicago is actually a ploy for them because they were arguing with Arlington Heights about taxes. So I think it's just a strong arm move. Like, all right, fine, we'll just build something, stay here in Chicago. For Arlington Heights to be like, oh no, wait, 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 let's cut a deal. Yeah. Okay. And for us, we, I mean, we have no choice. We have to drive and we have to park there. Like we have like public transit, but yeah. it doesn't go out there. Like Jerry has paid off. Like it's called DART, Dallas Area Rapid Transit, right? Does so, not go by there. No, it, it goes nowhere near that to that major city. <laughs> and it's like he bought all the land between there and said, goes, "No, sorry, you can't goes, put any train tracks here." It goes south, it goes north, and so it's like you know, no, you have to go, you have to drive, and you have to park, and you know, it's a hundred dollars to park or two hundred or whatever the That's hell crazy. it is. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, he, so, I mean, he's got to he's got to keep paying for those damn kids. They're starting to find out <laughs> he's got running around. <laughs> the nice thing is, most nights it's twenty five dollar beer night, so we got that going for us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which is which is nice. But isn't isn't public transportation a big thing there in Chicago? To it, especially it to, to the thing. games. Um, now I've been to one Cubs game and we took public yeah. trans we, we parked on a lot like a couple miles away and then they, they have a like non stop buses that take you back and forth. Oh nice. Yep. And then there's the orange line, the train that takes you right there. The problem is like for me I live in the south side of the city and for me to take the orange line or the red line I would have to take to the orange line. Um it's not really anywhere you want to be while you're on a train. Um, so it's uh, it's really hairy. So you could take the Metra down there, which is, you know, like $60 a ticket. Oh, wow. Or whatever it is. Um, but it's just like at, for that fact, I might as well just drive down there and pay the $60 for parking. Um, yeah. You know, the good thing is like the, the Cubs tickets. I mean, they're not crazy expensive. Um Bears tickets are uh, any NFL ticket. Any NFL it's ticket stupid. is. Yeah. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah. Um that's why I haven't gone I haven't gone to an NFL game since the last time I went to an NFL game, it was a Bears game. Um and they were playing the Buffalo Bills. You know who their quarterback was? For for which team? Give me the team. The Buffalo Bills. For the Buffalo Bills. Um Ryan Fitzmagic. Nope. Ooh. Doug Flutie. Doug ah. Flutie. All right. <laughs> I almost wanted time. to say Jim Kelly, but I was, I was like, say, I was gonna, Jim Kelly. That's way too long ago. Yeah, yeah. I only go well, to preseason Doug games. Doug Flutie was right after. So, yeah, I go out there for preseason games, kind of get out there and have some fun or whatnot. And but yeah, I mean, it's parking's a headache. You know, it, it's just so expensive to to go to yeah. a Cowboys yeah. game. I mean, you can get in I've the door a for a couple. But. You can get in the door for cheap, like somewhat cheap, if you want to do standing room only. So like thirty, forty bucks sometimes. Um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, between food <laughs> and booze, it's, it's like 500 bucks, man. It's, it's, in, it's insane. It's and that's cheap. why I'm trying to get in now with the radio stations around here. Cause they cover the teams and now I get to go for free. Yeah. yeah. There you go. It's that little lanyard little, you're like, I'm press with the pass press. action yeah. going on. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's all about the long game. Right? I'm telling you. So, so your cubbies, you've got a couple good rookies right now. Yeah. In, in Michael Bush and shout out manga, which Amanga is pitching today. I'm pretty sure. Right yeah, now. he's pitching right now. Uh, the Cubs are up one to nothing in the bottom yeah. of the seventh. He's pitched another six innings. He's given up three hits. He struck out six and walked one. Yeah, I've uh, I've done well with him on uh, over unders over there on underdog for okay. strikeouts. He's uh, he's done well for me there. He's the guy. He's yeah. the guy. <laughs> I wrote I rode the Michael Bush coattails for a little bit when he was doing nothing but hitting dingers too. Yeah, <laughs> and remember when the Dodgers were looking at Japanese pitchers and they they paid Yamamoto ten years. Something like two hundred and fifty million dollars, remember? And, oh. and they got it was, the Cubs got Shota Imanaga on a uh, four year deal, uh, and it was for something like eighty million. Yeah, oh, and, and Imanaga has just been he's been out of this world. He's lights out. Yeah, yanamoto has been pretty good though too. He's he's no slouch over there. I think he had uh, a rough first game, but since yeah. then he's been. He started with a 45 ERA, yeah, so that, yeah. Was, that was a problem. It's, we've come down a little bit since then. We definitely have to get you on for the, the SB Baseball one, man. We just did the Trevor Bauer episode and then the uh, the jerseys as well, the uniforms or whatnot. But, uh, What's your guys' take on the Trevor Bauer thing? 
Uh, I, I pay that man his money. Yeah, pay his pay Thank him you. his money, and I I say I'm calling for the death penalty for the uh, fraud yeah. fraudster. It, 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 if he doesn't get signed this year, I think there's gonna he's gonna launch a lawsuit or something because he's being blackballed, and it doesn't yeah. make sense. Because like, let's just for example, I was talking about all these teams that have all these blown saves, including the whites or not the White Sox, but the Red Sox, who have three or four blown saves already, and you got Jonathan Jonathan Papelbon said, hey. Bring him on, and I'll pay his contract. If he doesn't work out, I'll pay for his contract. Yeah, yeah. But if he does, I need you to donate that that money to charity, right? Right. And it's not like it's not a Colin Kaepernick situation where he's asking for a ton of money, right? He said, right. "Bring me on for league minimum. Let me show yeah. you. I still know how to pitch." As he struck out yeah. fourteen the other day in six innings. Yeah. The difference and, is he and, wants to play. The other one didn't want to play. Yeah. Right. And and that's where I'm at with him too, and I I completely agree with you. I've always said that because this isn't the first time an athlete's been falsely accused and been proven to to have been falsely accused, is that if, if an athlete or if anybody for that matter gets falsely accused and they're proven innocent and it's proven that it was a false allegation, the person who who put in the allegation should go to prison for as the uh, max sentence that you know the guy would have gone in for. Yep. Yeah. Well, she's been indicted on fraud. She's going to jail. It's yeah, going to yeah. happen. Well, so. I'm saying, but for the charges, you know what yeah. I mean? Like lying is like, oh, you got a six months probation. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. you know, the shit she was accusing him of, it's like 20 years. Like, yeah, yeah. your ass goes for 20 years. Adios, bitch. Yeah. 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 And not to mention, she, how many millions of dollars did she cost? Yep. An insane <laughs> You're going amount. to jail. <laughs> Cletus the cat's at the Freaking house. Cat. But yeah, we we gotta have you on. Guy wearing there. a dog mask back there. Just to uh, yeah, it's it's called the Dallas man. You know, it's called Dallas. Yeah, Jesus. What? Remember? Oh, last year was like even better. Remember the Jugs McGee that were sitting right behind? <laughs> yeah. <me>? yeah. <laughs> Telling you, man, Dallas is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I like I like the Jugs bit better than the uh, dog mask bit. Mm-hmm. So, so, but yeah, no, we uh, we record like randomly, but yeah, we'd love to have you on. I think just for some random hot takes and some other, you know, just you know, just straight straight up baseball talk for the SB Baseball Show. That's so, it. You know? that's all we do. Yeah, mm-hmm. hey, I'm I'm always down. I appreciate. Sounds that. Sounds good. So tell everyone where to find you at. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, mostly you can find me at Combs and Fitz Windy City Sports Talk. We're on Mondays. Uh, we just signed up with uh the badass uh radio network is what it's called um the ba radio network we just signed up with them um you can find us mondays at 6 p.m we're going to be on their radio station we're going to be on twitch uh facebook youtube um all those other places that you can normally find us out so check out combs and fits windy city sports talk um other than that you can just just check out the socials you'll you'll see me there There you go. go We need that link, man. So whenever you log off, you got you got like a uh, solo toe or uh, what do they call it with the, the the thing that has all your links in it? Yeah, I've got yeah, I got a QR code. QR code or something. Yeah, drop it like whenever you jump out of here, drop it in there and we'll put it up there and we'll also share it out and uh, we'll put all it right. in the cuz yeah, got to get over there and get some get some subscribers, get some views, some likes, some love, followers cuz uh, you know, it's been too long, man. It really has. It's been too long. Hell yeah, man. I always love joining you guys. I, I listen from time to time whenever I see it, and I'm not – right now I'm working seven days a week. So <laughs> when, I hear you. When, whenever I see it, I, I, I ho- try to hop on with you guys, man. Yeah, yeah, man. We appreciate it, Combs. Thank you so much. And let yeah. me assure you, the pleasure's all on this side of the table, sir. <laughs> all on this side of the table. If you could see the under yeah. the table cam right now, you would just see just – Rock oh, hard. You got to pay it, extra for that. <laughs> and to answer, and to answer your question, Dave, I'm Irish, so it's always an innie until I find somebody with a mouth like a Hoover. <laughs> there you go. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grower, not a shower myself. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same damn way. There we go. But I'm all hey. But when the opportunity comes, I am ready to go. <laughs> just, just call me Showtime, baby. Yeah, showtime, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a damn shirt that says that. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh man. Combs, thank you so much for joining us, brother. We appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a round of applause. All right, guys. Have a good night, man. Later, brother. brother. See ya. Bye. Man. This is Michael Bolton showing up for his review next. <laughs> Been trying. <laughs> oh, Been trying. I miss him so much. So, yeah, no, I had the uh, the cancel echo cancellation button unchecked because ah. I didn't think we needed it because we're all professional here and we have pro- appropriate mics. So there was an echo. If you fought through it, 
Thank you so much. It. And big shout out to Billy Joe, Billy Joe for being the only mf -er to tell us. I think someone else said something. but I was clicking was like, around like a mother effer the entire I, time. I, I know. I was like, oh, buddy. Like, I go, it was what? weird because like, I wasn't hearing it. Because the first time someone said something, I was like, well, I'm not. Typically, we'll hear it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And there's nothing professional here. Oh, buddy. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's all professional under the table. Goddamn cat. I swear to God, I'm going to sock that fucking thing cat. when I see it. It gets time. me when you can open a door, all right? <laughs> just going to walk in. You know, I'm going to walk into Henson's house. He's going to be sitting there looking. Like, <laughs> 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 just that dead motherfucker. <laughs> stick that cat. You're not going to be able to tell I hit it, but it's going to know I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bruise a cat. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> Give me a sock full of fucking oranges and just beat the shit right out of it. Some sweet Valencia yeah. oranges. <laughs> God Almighty! Yeah, infuriating me. Look, look, I'm all pissed again. I got damn, I get some whiskey in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, big shout out to Combs. Uh, I shared the link right there, like for his uh, YouTube and things like that. He's gonna get the link over to us. We'll share it in there. Just do us a favor. Go, go over there, follow. hit uh, hit follow, hit share, or uh, subscribe. Things like that. Show the show the show some love because the guy's been we've we've known him for years now, and uh, he just good dude all around. Yeah, he's been on the show before, had a blast. We've joined him on his show. It's just a good time, good time. So oh, that, that's what you get with the click. echo cancellation. You see the volume going down? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, Son well, of a. We can get bitch. rid of it now. I freaking hate Streamyard. <laughs> and Cleese said he's going to claw your face off when you're not ready. <laughs> I'm just always for the record. <laughs> Hey, get a few drinks in you, you get a little loosey goosey. Yeah. And then we don't have to worry about it. Sucker punching everything at that point. <laughs> Fucking goddamn cats. Hey, hey Cleese, you need to go tell Charlotte to hurry up and make their pick. I, I wanted to get this draft finished today. Dude, There's no reason this goes should go to three days. We just want to get the draft done. And I swear to God, I don't I told I told Alan this. I go, I don't care if he picks Easter Sunday at fucking noon. I am going like I'm in on that draft because this is the worst. This has been terrible. And I don't I gotta talk to the guy who traded away like all my picks because all I see is like the people getting the players that I'd want and my name's next to it. <laughs> but it's it's also next to some other uh, CS some name. Other, some you know what I mean? Guy. And I'm like, you motherfucker. So anyway. <laughs> just FYI. Yeah, just have I almost went like that. I go, just FYI. Just FYI. Like, <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, we're gonna have. Uh, we need you to uh, join us remotely for uh, a couple episodes as well. Talk about dynasty things like that. Have a little bit of fun. Maybe a little drink. <laughs> yeah, he sucked. But yeah, we're gonna have. To, you're gonna have to go like up in your bar, your speakeasy. I don't want you on your porch with like shitty Wi-Fi and no earbuds, <laughs> dude. Maybe he can go to someone else's house. You ever been it. to his house? No, no, I haven't. Man, I was like, all right, so we went there for the Super Bowl. I, I got to talk more about this during the um, – I got to do the Parker Brewery. I don't know if I ever did the official Parker Brewing uh, brewery visit. Okay. But I, I did like, hey, let me do a quick beer review or something like that. So anyways, we were out there. We get there, it's fucking packed. I mean, it's nut to butt. And we're like hanging. I'm like, it's cold outside. I go, perfect. I'm just going to stay outside. Liz is like, well, I can't stay out here. I go, you ain't got to stay out yeah. here. I'm going yeah, to. Yeah, do whatever you want to do. I didn't say we. I yeah. said me. And so she's like, hey. And, and, of course, people are like, hey, I'm going to go. Like, uh, Elisa. She's like, I'm, we're going upstairs. I go, what do you mean upstairs? Like, to the fucking bedrooms to watch the game? What kind of kinky shit you got going on up there? <laughs> I go, but I'm listening. Like, and Look, so. Is there a voyeur room I'm in? And they go, no, the bar. I go, are you fucking kidding me? There's a bar upstairs. So, anyway, so I get going up there. And Henson stops me. goes, hey, man, check this out. I was like, he was he was really excited about it, too. And I was like, well, what do you got? And he opens the bookcase and all that kind oh, of stuff. Nice. I go and I go, this is the coolest fucking house ever. <laughs> he said, we're going to do a live draft next year. This was a shit show. Yeah. I'm in on live draft. Uh, not, not to mention like you select to do the dra the draft on the day when CBS is doing maintenance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I go, <laughs> Alan goes, the draft starts. I go, no shit. Again, I go to the website. Everything's crash. I go, everything's crash. I don't know what to do. It sucks. I go, now it says it's under maintenance. I hate it here. <laughs> I'm I'm sending him screenshots. I can't turn on my notifications. <laughs> the whole website's down. I was like, this is the worst league ever. Worst fucking CBS. What is it? Fucking 1942 where there's no other options. Yeah. You got three goddamn channels. Hey, I don't know. How about you do maintenance in like, I don't know, like January or February, <laughs> right? March, <laughs> April. Well, yeah, well, yeah I, uh, I, I'm looking forward to it, especially like the future. Perfect timing. Absolutely nailed it. And, yeah. uh, 
But I think I think uh, in like hey, I was like, let's just go to a fucking Chuck E. Cheese, have a couple beers, we'll, we'll do the draft there. They got damn good pizza. At I, Chuck know, I, e. Cheese. Like, I like their pizza. I like their pizza, man. They got good pizza. But uh, but yeah, and I was like, let's just knock it out. But uh, you know, we can meet anywhere in the Metroplex type thing. I'll and I'll drive out towards Fort Worth or something like that. But uh, I was like, a live in person draft is so much more fun. Oh yeah, you know, I don't like the. Uh, you know, when I'm doing like those other drafts that are remote, because I am remote from my cousins, uh, you know, draft. Right. And it's usually, you know, I'm like, all right, well, I can't make it this week. I can't get up there, you know, whatever. So I, I'm usually out by the pool with a drink in my hand right. and just going ape shit. Like, I, I got my guy. I got my guy, you know, or whatever. And, but, uh, yeah, I am looking forward to it. I think it'd be a lot of fun, especially for next year. So, but especially uh, with it being like May, you know, May 1st, you know, I'm, it, and he's got a pool back there, I think. He's got a pool or a hot tub. You probably fit a couple dudes in there. Yeah. You know, but uh, I'm in. I mean, he's got a bar. Let's go to the bar. Several in this league are remote, remote. So we will have to have a Zoom call in. I'm fine with that. As long as it's live, though. I'm like, hey, you're logging in. This is what we're doing. This is what's happening. Um, And it also gives me an option in case I don't want to go either. You know? It's got a pool and a pond. Yeah. Pond's good for you. (laughs) Pond's good for you. I'm sorry, you're too high tone for a pond. No, that's from Caddyshack, you dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, got a pool and a pond. Pond be good for you. It's like, <laughs> God, you're failing. Uh, you're failing I as just, a. I'm just you. You've been high toning it all day today. So I don't want to hear it. It's talking about your fancy cheeses over there and stuff. <laughs> it was from a show. It's from a TV. I'm referencing a low rent ass TV show that I watched when I was hammered after softball. And you went and got that cheese though. You had the cheese. Gouillere? No, yeah, I ain't got it. I've never had it. That's not what you said. I, I never had Gouillere before. Yeah. A little too soft for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? Pond be good for you. How'd you miss the cat? Uh, I don't know. It just happens, man. You were just talking about how, like, you got left out in the cold on that joke that you pulled off at work, and then you're like, you're too, like, you didn't, you could not pick up when he was laying down. I'm just, that is embarrassing. You should lose a draft pick next year. Oh, shit. You can't do that. I got four second round ones next year. Man. I mean, you can. Yeah, but it's just frowned upon. Going there, yeah. Nice. That's all that is. I but yeah, no, I'm looking forward to like having my full like all my picks unless the prick trade away more picks. I don't even know. If... I, no, he, he couldn't trade those ones away yet. Yeah, so I'm sure he good. would. I, I'm sure he would have fucking <laughs> sold them all. Like, listen, I'll give you this pick for a hand job right now <laughs> and a ham sandwich. Because I tried to get picks in a trade I did earlier. I tried to get picks from like a, a next year, and no. it's like you can't do that. I was like, well, this is dumb. So not like the so the next the following year like 2026 or something like that. Uh, 2025. Oh, can't trade away two years out. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it sucks. I don't like it at all. I was pretty pissed about it. I don't know. I was kind of, and I I even looked, I was hanging out at the party and the guy was like, oh, I was like, you had this team before me. I almost came fucking unglued and killed the guy. (laughs) You know, almost busted like a bottle and just like, you know what? I've had, you know, you fucking prick. This (laughs) fucking guy. Hope you got something good for that first round. He didn't. I mean, he probably did. I don't know. Probably this league, didn't. this league, this league looks like a man. I got to put this down. <laughs> Let me go back to this. <laughs> I'm already getting too wound up. I got to chill back down. I got to chill. You've been angry all day. Why change? You got the full allotment next year. He says. All right, cool. One, two, and a three. All right. So I feel better now. Feel better? Yeah. You good. You know, like the first when we first opened up, we were on fire. It was just lightning. I'd almost just want to can't like just kill everything up until then. Because then we got the echo and stuff. You know, maybe maybe I'll release that like in a couple weeks or something. Dallas score. Let's go three two. Here we go. Here we go. A little power play action. Um. So you're upset about something about Chick Fil A. Yeah, I almost punched some asshole with a Ezekiel Elliott jersey today. What's What's going on, buddy? Well, he had a Ezekiel Elliott jersey, and I was like, "Hey, did you have that before, or did you go get another one after he was signed?" No, I was annoyed. So. Um, so I was downtown or whatever. I was like, you know, let me go grab me a uh, salad real quick. And so I always do it on the app or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, Hey, I'm here already type thing. And it's like, all right, you're good to go. And so like people walk in and go directly to the pickup counter. Like, yeah. you know, they weave through everybody and then they get there. Yeah. It's not ready yet. And they just stand there. Like, so the pickup counters right here and they're standing right here. Okay. Oh hey babe, what? Hey! who's this? Oh, what's up, babe? And some mayonnaise. This is awesome. Ooh, I like that one. You need to leave and come back more often. Oh Jesus! No, I'm joking. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. That one's delicious. Yeah. How was everybody? Oh, fine. Okay. I'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> Let's just shut up with beer. Charlotte took Johnny Wilson. All right. You're going to know who you're going to pick? It's not my turn yet. I still oh. got a few more picks. Oh, okay. I was waiting on Charlotte because. Yeah. They're next up. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, it's just like you're sitting there and you're waiting. And then I thought they call my name. So um, they have a uh, TV up there, right? It says yeah, Ready. It shows, yeah, yeah. And whatever. Uh-huh. It showed my name was Ready. And they said brand, you know, whatever. It sounded like, I was like, oh, okay, Brandon. You know, so I go up there. I'm like, hey. And I'm like, excuse me. And they don't, they don't fucking moving. And I'm like, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse Scusi, me. Excuse me. Well, then I'm like, okay. Well, then it's full on physical now. So I'm just like, all right. You know, let me get trying by. Trying to you. box them out now. Let me, let me get by you real quick. Now you're Dennis me. Rodman down in the paint. <laughs> no, to... I'm not like elbowing people or anything like that. But I'm like moving. And one of them looked at me and just looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, can you not fucking move? I am not above getting into a fucking altercation at that, Chick-fil-A. That's got to be a downtown Dallas type thing. It is. Cause fucking downtown yeah, sucks so bad. Because, like, I'll, I I hit up a, I go to a bunch of doing delivery, and I hit a bunch of Chick-fil-A's in the area, yeah. in the DFW area. Never had a problem with Aaron ne- Carrollton. Never had a problem. Never. It's just people waiting. People are just, standing. They're yeah. standing back because they got the TV screen up there so you can see. Yeah. Not yeah. to mention they call your name out. They say it out loud. Right. And the only reason I went up there is cuz they call my name too. Yeah. And it said my so name. I'm was a right big there. fan of ordering on the app. I order on, I order on the app and as soon as I order I say I'm there. Yes. So that when I get there my food's already sitting there so I walk in, grab my food and walk out. I didn't do that this time but it picked up that I was close anyways cuz it said okay you're here. I was on the phone with Lizzie. It right. said you're here. I was like oh, okay cool. So it already picked up. It's like it'll be like 5 minutes. So I'm sitting back there just leaning up against a, a little railing. And it said, oh, okay, my name's ready. Okay, cool. And I always do it now because you get points, you get free shit, you, yeah. get, you know, all this kind of stuff. I do the same thing with Sonic. Like, Sonic, you get points and, you know, offers or whatever. And I was like, it's like, dude, get the fuck out of the way, man. And downtown, down, one, it sucks. Two, it's too many people. And, then, like, the other Chick-fil-A was just overrun anyways. And that was before you could do even mobile check-in. Like, the other one was just overrun. Now it's, a, like, a, it's big. It's pretty big. Yeah. And so, you, but you still have, like, 30 morons that crowd around this area because they're just like waiting for their food. Wait, I got to get those chicken nuggies, buddy. I got to get, get those, those nuggies. nuggies I got to get them. Even though their name's not on the damn done sign, their name is not, you know, it's like 80 orders pending. And I'm like, I can see when my shit's done anyways because it's always a, uh, so when I get a salad, I'm like, hey, two dressings or whatever. So I see them go. And like in the morning time, like right. I'll get a biscuit or whatever. Well, the mustard's on the top shelf. So I see them reach for reach it. For the it. only goddamn one that's getting mustard in the yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, you are. So. Uh, Billy Joe says, exercise makes you look good, but then so does bourbon. That's just science. Goddamn right about it's that. not a dad joke. I don't He's know, coming in I with don't, science. I don't know why we haven't had a dad joke yet. I'm looking right at the button. I'm just waiting on it. It's been here like the whole show. Just waiting. Patiently, I should say. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's why I don't like Chick-fil-A. Well, not, I, I love Chick-fil-A. I don't like the idiots that go to Chick Fil A. That's what I have a problem with. I, I, I don't think it's that. I think it's just you just like downtown Fucking Dallas. Downtown. I hate Dallas. Because, like downtown. you said, you've you've hit up the one here in Carrollton, and you don't have the problem. One right down the road, no issues. I hate downtown. I just hate downtown. I think we're gonna move next year anyway, so I think it'll be fine. Okay. Hopefully. Right. So I think we're gonna do like a little Las Colinas or Addison or something like that. Okay. So it'll be closer for me, and I don't have to be downtown, and I don't have to pay for park, and I'm not gonna be surrounded by bums. And, you know, they're not shitting right there in front of your building, you know, or taking a whiz somewhere. Huh. That's always fun. Watching a guy arc it, that's pretty cool. I mean, you just said it was pretty cool, so that's kind of disappointing that you won't get to see that. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. And it's not the old building where the security guard tells the dudes, like, hey, he just got here, come in and break into his car, or steal the fucking thing. Right. Yeah, really cool yeah. stuff, man. I love where I work. Love my life. Life's good. Well, that's the men on the, the gated below parking, Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. That, that was always fun. Yeah, and then they open it for them so they can yeah. drive out. Yeah, because yeah. they have to open yeah. it. You don't want to break it because no. then someone's on the hook yeah. for that shit. Someone's got to pay for that thing. So, and that just isn't good. So, Oh, I got a pop. Oh. I said I wasn't going to buy no more, but it was six bucks. Thanks, okay. babe. I'll pay you back later. With some, <laughs> with some under the table stuff. <laughs> Over the clothes action. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so georgia baseball yeah caught cheating I heard they fucked up like trying to be slick but then some a&m fans were watching going what's that guy doing squatting in the corner over there not even trying to be slick do that shit in the locker room like, or like hey i gotta go take a leak i'll be right back 
Right? Like, like, what are you doing? Unless he's over there. You know what? It'd be funny if he's over there just getting, like, some chaw or something like that. You know what I mean? You don't hide the chaw in the corner right next to the pole, though. But you could. It'd be funny. Yeah, it right? Be. Like, they're like, what is this guy doing? What's this guy up to? Like, over there just kind of hanging out, getting some sunflower seeds. <laughs> just wants to squat down and be funny. But, yeah, he's putting some putting some, some sort of a substance on his glove, on the string on his glove. It's you, just tying it. You, you put it. Oh, it's buddy. Just tying it. And then they go and they watch. John Boy did a real good breakdown on this. And I, like, I, share, I, like I, I, I shared it on the SB uh, Baseball, uh, the, our X account. Mm-hmm. So if you want to go check it out there, check it out there. Uh, but he shows him he's going in, he's pitching, and you get a uh, a new ball. <laughs> and every time he gets a new ball, you see him grab that one string. Oh, he gave it, he gave it the old he's giving it the the old, hip thrust. Yeah. Oh, shit. That guy's here for business. He goes to that string. And he's he's rubbing the fingers on that string to get that little stick him uh, so he can spin that ball. Why and not? then there's a foul ball and he just gets a new ball and just reaches back oh, over. That's and, terrible. Yeah, but you you see it every time he gets a new ball. Who cares? Well, it's illegal. When are we gonna stop that shit? Who cares? Okay. They've so, already changed the balls where the ball flies further. Right. So let the pitchers do whatever but they want. You're, they you're put, okay with this cheating. Yeah, sure. But you're not okay with what the Astros did. Banging on a trash can to steal signs? Uh, just I don't care about that. No, that that's so bullshit. <laughs> like stealing signs is part of the game, but they're going out of their way and like banging on trash cans. But that's part of the game, ball. right? Not banging on a trash okay. can. Okay. I mean, you're just, they're being resourceful. They should have they're been using uh, their resources. sterilized, I think. I think sterilization. Sterilization. Yeah. yeah. Been good. There's got to be consequences here. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. No, they got caught cheating and just, you hadn't heard anything from the NCAA yet. It's yeah. just been. They hadn't you're, made you're a statement? Wait. I haven't seen a statement. Doesn't sound yeah. like he did anything wrong. Because um, they would have definitely the been The A&M coach said, I, I, didn't, I didn't see what he said, but mm. like he, he did address it and talk about it some. Like, I don't mind it, actually. Like That's one thing I've never had a problem with uh, when it comes to pitching or something like that. It's because, one, these guys, um, especially what they're doing now, we talked about this before on SB, and like the 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 torque, the pressure, everything they're uh-huh. putting on their elbow just to get that extra spin, that extra, you know, all that kind of shit. And in this case, they're actually putting something on it to get more grip to to create, yeah, they, to create maybe a little bit more spin. A little bit but, more velocity But on to it. alleviate the actual pressure they have to put on their elbow or shoulder to get it there. And I think I'm actually I'm actually more on board with it anyhow. I don't give a shit. It, the problem is he's still doing all that create like they they're showing like kind of like the slow mo of him pitching and uh-huh. his the, the way his elbows bending and stuff. Yeah, he's still good. That, that ain't yeah. that ain't natural. Yeah, but that ain't natural. You know, I'm okay with it. I think. Fuck it. <laughs> it's just some sticky shit. I like uh, a guy from Major League. You know, he put some snot on the ball. You know, he goes some the, the umps are watching me real tight. Sometimes I rub a little jalapeno on my nose. <laughs> get that going. <laughs> and if I need to load up the ball, I just wipe my nose. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah! Why not? I don't get it. I, that's one thing I don't get. There's. And all the cheating and bullshit and how it is, I don't have a problem with, like, sticky substances. Remember, like, uh, was it Naked, Naked Gun? Uh-huh. Where the guy's, like, pulling out fucking sandpaper and shit. Like, <laughs> he lifts up his hat. He's got fucking, like, a sander or a belt sander underneath it. What happened? B- Billy Joe, you said that joke last week. Oh. oh funny. It's, it was a good one, but. I will not repeat it because we, we had it last week. If I don't so get do if, better, if I don't get the orders to uh, do better to hit the button, buddy, I don't hit the button. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh come on, you, oh, no, you come on, <laughs> come on. This ain't on me. <coughs> you step your game up. Quit recycling. Shit. Yeah, come on. It goes hard. We don't on. come on here and talk about the same thing every week. We kind of do. Nah. Yeah. Nah. It's the only time George's been caught cheating. <laughs> Are you going down? I am. I think, I think it's oh, happening. Oh, man. I think this is it. Did you hear about uh, Barry Sanders? What about him? He uh, is taking his permission uh, away from Madden and NCAA to use his likeness. Oh, you can do that? Yeah. You have to give him permission to use your likeness. But you get money for it, I guess? Yeah. You get compensated for it. He's not getting compensated enough? He's, he ain't getting compensated for anything because he's like, ah, I'm out. Old school's in the house. What's up? Hey, this guy. What's up, man? How's it going, brother? How's heard, Marty? Yeah. Marty's over there. I was about to say, I heard dang dope Marty, Marty was out Marty, there. Right? Marty was in here earlier over at your house, but there was no old school. What's, I don't know, what's really going weird. on with that? It's, that's that's it's, odd. It's quite I feel odd. like you both might have been in here, but that's fine. What? Maybe you're just <laughs> sitting real close to each other looking on his phone. You know? <laughs> 
He's kind of farting around on one side of the phone. It's cool. They're just both kind of real close to each other as he's got his phone holding yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I got it right here, buddy. Yeah, don't, don't I got you, buddy. Yeah. Got his arm around him. Come on in. Come on in. God. <laughs> Yeah, so that's stupid. Th- I, you know what? I'm, I got we got to do something else. I got to get over, get away from Streamyard. Streamyard's pissing me off. Like yeah. it automatically lowers the volume if you have echo cancellation on there. But if you have it checked, it'll produce an echo and it'll drop your volume. You piece of shit. But I'll lose my mind. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> like I was just mellowing out. Like I can't wait. I got some cool cigars for us. You know, I sent you a picture. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna. Start that fire, man. We got the start. We got the 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 Mavs will be on later tonight. You know, here at like eight. But shit, actually, eight thirty or nine thirty tip. Oh, uh, that's late. And dude, late, is late anybody o'clock? crazier than Russell Westbrook? Does anybody want to fight? But doesn't want to fight more than uh, Russell Westbrook? Like I, you know, he's like the biggest wannabe tough guy there is. I mean, are we ready for that? Are we? Are we still talking about something else? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Right. Yeah. Yeah, nine o'clock time. Yeah, no, we can talk about it. Yeah, we gotta do some Patreon videos too. Uh, what do you call a cold puppy? A chili dog. And this week's dad joke is brought to you by JB Carts. Check them them out on Facebook and Instagram, and at jbcarts.com. We're back, baby. Sorry for everybody listening at like fucking six thirty in the morning. We appreciate you not recycling material, there, Billy Joe. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man. Um, but yeah, no, what Russell Westbrook's just a punk, right? Like, he's just like, he's never came across somebody. that's like, you know what? I'm just going to beat your ass. Just, you know what I mean? Like who's afraid of any basketball player like I, ever? I don't know. Like, oh shit. Did you see LeBron, f- uh, go flex on some chick and scared her or some shit like that? No. She so called it. She, he called her a cry. He called, she called him a cry baby. Cause you know, he's a fucking cry baby. <laughs> and he goes, he stops. He goes, <laughs> The most bitch ass LeBron thing ever, and he just I, he keeps up in the ante. Like he can't. I think that's awesome. He's like he fucking stops. And she it. probably jumped like a. She jumped, oh, yeah. and then he goes. Oh, he's making fun of her. <laughs> and it's like okay, I love it. I was like, you know what? She sh- she should have fucking. You know that's why you don't you don't flinch. <laughs> you don't fl- he should have went back over to go two for flinching. <laughs> you know what? She shouldn't have flinched and went like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> You fucking chump. No one believes you're going anywhere. You're going to fall over anyways. Like, Jesus Christ, I'll cut a fucking fart and knock you over. Oh, man. <laughs> it's, it, and I hear rumors about him coming to Dallas. I, I just I don't want any part of that. I don't want him anywhere near our city. I don't want him in the fucking state. Metroplex, none of that. I don't want him anywhere near us. I'm like, you know, like, oh, yeah, no, it's the, it's the whole where is he going to go now? I'm like, I don't give a fuck where he goes. Like, no one cares. It's 20 years later. It was a big deal when he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go. Where am I going to go? Uh, Cleveland or Miami? No one fucking cares. And now he's like talking about coming to Dallas. I go, don't come here. I mean, we ain't going to win nothing with him anyway. Mar said LB Lakers don't want him. No, no shit. They said they will keep him. Oh, Leafs stay alive. They say they will keep him if they draft his fucking kid. And he is absolutely worthless. Yeah, I don't his, wanna... You could get those fucking points, Alan. And you are terrible at basketball. You are not a specimen in any shape, way, or form, and you could get those points. He averages I'm like back. three a game and a fucking rebound. I'm back there jacking up threes, <laughs> making it rain. That's because they're not guarding you. You're putting it up at half court, hey, hey. and they're like, he ain't making it. But I'm making it. No, he ain't. Like a champ. <laughs> we need We need to get to a... How many fucking dogs are in this neighborhood? A lot. We need to... Uh, we need to go to the gym like we did the putter challenge. Okay. And we'll do a three-point challenge, I'm and in. we'll do a... Uh, free throw? Free throw challenge. I'm in. Where the fuck is... I don't want to go to 24-hour fitness. There's always like a full court game is, going on. Is that <laughs> still a thing? Why his kid is useless? They need a three-point shooter. Yeah. Well, he's only going to That's why they need one. to bring me on. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> only going to hit one. This guy, his kid sucks. It's no and, big deal. And I will guarantee you, with every shot I take, I will yell raindrops. <laughs> <laughs> Just jack them up. I'll be right back. Making it rain. That movie still holds up. It does. It does. It really does hold up. Um, I just watched Role Models. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie in a while, but I was just strolling through Netflix trying to find something to watch and come across that. And I remember it being funny when I watched it. I remember watching it several times when it came out. Got it bought on old Divida. Watched it several times and remember laughing. I was like, you know what? Let's go back and revisit this. And it 
it did not disappoint. Now, it's a lot funnier towards the beginning of the movie. The first half of the movie is a lot funnier than the second half because the second half, it gets more into a, a feel-good movie, right? They, they're, they, they've they gone through everything, and then Rolls Models, is, it is good, man. That that kid, um, the one that stifflers the, his little buddy, that kid is so freaking hilarious. He walked around calling um, Paul Rudd Ben Affleck the whole movie or just like different versions of Ben Affleck. They call him Batman, call him... Oh, you got a little, is that Grand Inquisitor? Yep. Yeah, there we go. It's a nice little pop there. But yeah, no, it's fun. Like I said, the whole first half of the movie is hilarious. The second half, it gets more into the little feel-good type stuff, but it's still funny. And then uh, Ken Jeong, he's he's freaking hilarious. Great in it. everything. Dude, he is. He's so great in everything. But yeah, Paul Rudd's funny. A little McLovin action going on in there. That kid's funny. Just a good movie. You need to check it out again. I uh, I fired it up and then my uh, I hate TCL TVs because they fucking suck. Oh yeah. Um. So I need to do some upgrades. In need here. to review Blazing Saddles again, dude. That movie's hilarious. It's that's it's fucking so wild. funny. Yeah. Oh it's my wild. gosh, I love that movie. Like these kids would melt. Like they wouldn't even know what to do if they watched that shit these days. Just, <laughs> they would fucking combust. <laughs> I need I need to have in. my oldest kid watch it. She's eighteen now. Eighteen now. She's eighteen now. And they'd be like, you need to watch Blazing Saddles. She's right in that demographic where it would be like, you know, is she like super sensitive or something like that? Or like, she's 18. So it's like they don't get comedy. They like they think everything's a fucking tragedy or something like that. But yeah, have her watch it. I guess report back and be like, did you, you know, do you feel like you need to talk to a, 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 a crisis therapist, counselor right? or something yeah. like that? Good thing is we get free counseling at work. So yeah. we got that going for us. I saw that email today. I was like, oh, cool. I go to sign up for the little website thing, right? Scan the QR code, says enter your work email. We'll send you an email. Never got the email. <laughs> resend email. Never came. It's not here for you. Backed out. Went back in. Reset now. I guess I'm not getting. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not here for you. No counseling it's, for me. It's not for you. It's just, it ain't gonna. It ain't gonna work out for me. <laughs> oh man! Did you see this stuff with Dion and Shadur? Uh, I mean, how how far back? Because remember, he was talking about how new, he didn't want story. his kid to go new, to new story. Uh, oh, okay, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, some guy was was talking about a guy who had transferred out of Colorado uh-huh. uh, was talking trash about Dion, saying he never even tried to get to know me, and that he was just destroying destroying guys' confidence and beliefs in themselves and stuff like that. Right? Okay. And Sh- Shador goes and posts on. It. He's like, he's like, I never even heard of this guy. He must have been mid because I never even I don't even know who this guy oh, is. Fuck! I just doubled down on. Yeah, the, the and then here. someone was talking trash about Sh- Shador. And Dion Post, he's like, he's going to be a top five pick. Where are your son going? Oh, oh well, I got time today. <laughs> oh, God. He'll give into that bullshit. I don't know what it oh, is, man. Yeah, yeah. and he is. I, he just, he does. He gives into that shit. But, yeah, no, I don't, for me, with these, uh, the kids, when he went in there, he went in there and told everyone exactly how it was. He goes, hit the transfer portal. It's, he goes, yeah. I'm bringing luggage with me. If this team, you know, that you might not even make this goddamn team. You might have been playing on this team for two or three years. You you might not make it this you, year. You ain't good enough. Yeah, because they were awful. Yeah, and they were bad. I mean, they're still a bad team. Let's be honest. They, they're better they, than they were. They, um, boy, we everybody caught Dion fever, Colorado fever. Everyone caught it, and it was it came bonkers. out of the gates firing. They, it was, and when they beat, uh, then the they hell, started playing good teams. Who the hell did they beat? What was that top? Was it TCU? think so yeah it beat tcu and everything went fucking bonkers and then uh, they started playing yeah oregon and <laughs> oregon's linemen are the size of two of their linemen oh yeah you know yeah, things like yeah. that but uh <clears throat> what does beethoven do in his grave <sighs> decomposes that's what i that is he, yeah, he decomposes. Yeah. I, I read it i was oh, like okay. you know i, I was like sitting oh. thinking to myself i was like wait i know this one because oh. I've, I've heard it before and I looked down, at it, but I was like, "It says decomposes or some shit." Like that. No, it Have says a good decomposes. show. Hey, thank you so much, Marv. Thank you for coming in, brother. We appreciate it, man. Big shout out to you. I miss you. I'm not afraid to say it either. I miss yeah. you. I was rocking uh, my Marv Dingo shirt, the my F Cancer shirt, the other day. There you go. The big old Mickey Mouse middle finger on it. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I was rocking that around the house the other day. It's good times. Yeah, we had a we had a good little run there. We really did. Like everybody had a good little nice little run. <clears throat> but yeah, no, I you know, with that, I, yeah, they're gonna Dion and his kid, they're gonna they're gonna challenge you on Twitter or X. You know what I mean? They're gonna if you say something, they're gonna fucking just they are not they're not above just getting in there and getting. Oh yeah, you. no. Uh-huh. 
And Dion's like said, you know, he's talked about his kids like being a uh, certain uh, um, pro teams. He doesn't want his kids playing. Where, oh, if you're in the north, I don't want you playing or something. It's cold, cold weather cities. I'm pretty something sure like he's like cold yeah. weather cities. And I was like, okay, yeah, I mean that'll be fun because now you pretty much put out there that you're going to Lavar Bell the fuck out of this thing or Lavar Ball, Ball, yeah. um, and no one's got time for that shit. Like he ruined like one of his kids' career. I mean, he wasn't that great to begin with, but. <sighs> You know, he kind of fucking ruined that whole situation. And I don't know about with Dion. I don't know. I, I don't see Shakira being a wild ass NFL quarterback. He's fun to watch on Saturday. Yeah. He was. I don't know. How, is this his second year in college? I think he could have came out this last year. You think so? He play, I think he played one year at um, <clears throat> where were, where yeah, the Juco yeah. team, right? No. Um, the that HBCU that he was. That, oh, that he, he was there. I can't remember what school he. Uh, Jackson State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson. He State. played one year at Jackson State. I'm pretty sure, and then transferred with him to Colorado. So he could have came so, up this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You're two years in, right? Or is yeah, it one yeah. year? No, it's two years. Okay, it's two okay. years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. but he's so not. He, he's not going to come out because he's going to. Yeah, he could have came out this year. You're yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the reason the he quality did, of quarterbacks coming out next year is not that great. Exactly so. right. You don't want to come out this year against. <laughs> there was some. There was a quality. He wants to try and be a one-one. You know? Oh, of course. There's no way in hell he is, or he won't be. You know, there's just no. I way. I mean, maybe. Nah, there's zero chance of that. Like, I don't know who's left, but there's no fucking way he's a one-one. <laughs> there's no way. Like, everybody wants to be a one-on-one. Just, most people can't. And with his dad, I think his dad bringing the extra bullshit. And I love Dion. Like, I grew up, I loved watching Dion play. Oh, yeah. Being a punt. I loved him as a receiver and a cornerback. His put when his a returner. That was dude. where he Electric. caught my attention, dude. Electric. Oh, my God. He would run 100 yards to gain five fucking yards. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't know if he's running it back or not. And he was just so yeah, always electric. a chance. Yeah, it was so great. Always a chance. Mm-hmm. And I'm here for for everything he's got going on with Colorado. Like yeah. I'm I'm along for the I'm, ride. I'm going to watch he's, it again next year. He's fun. He's entertaining. I, I I'm all in. Yeah. If you're in the garage hanging out on a Saturday and that shit's on, to, you put that shit on. Back in the day, you used to have like a reality show. I used to watch that. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, he had a reality show. Dude, he's got a closet. It's like bigger than your house. I don't doubt this. It's a pretty small yeah. house. Yeah, and he had he had a bunch of cows out in the front yard, and they're like, oh, "What's all what's all the cows you got?" He's like, "Tax break, tax, tax break, <laughs> tax break." I get tax yeah. right off. Yeah, yeah. He's like, "I gotta have so many, then I can declare the farm." And oh, yeah, God. oh yeah, man. He's, but yeah, no, he had a show that for, there for a while. This is a long time ago. Nice, long time ago. But yeah, I, I was, I'm all in for everything Dion does. Yeah, because if you ball. You're going to get the call, oh, buddy. And now we got our own thing. Now we're going to end up on the the recap. Yeah, that was, shit was funny. I laughed Dude. my ass off. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got Simeon on first. Here we go. All right, oh, what man. we got? We got to get out of here. Uh, we got to get out of here. Uh, the, 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 you were supposed to tell me about the Dallas Wings. Dallas Wings are going to be. Uh, they're moving to Dallas. They were in Arlington last season. They're moving to Dallas this year. It's not the K. Hutchinson or whatever K Bailey Hutchinson. No, that's where they're trying to go. Was the K Bailey Hutchinson? Uh, Dallas Wings going to play? No, uh, they're coming to Dallas. Uh, let's see, team plays two more seasons downtown Dallas. Why does it not say where they're moving to? I think, or I think maybe they they move the um, game against the Fever to K Bailey. No, this no, season. that no? one's in uh, AAC. Oh, slaps in the house. Slab Junior came up to me and said he wants to be a priest when he grows up. I don't know whether to call him son or father. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, downtown Convention Center is what it's saying. Okay. So it's probably going to be somewhere out there. So, yeah, they're going to remodel it, uh, revamp it, and that's where they're going to play. Yeah. But, you know, you know, the other one, yeah, no, they're playing. Like when uh, Caitlin Clark comes yeah, down, fever. all the teams get to play from their, their big the big stadiums. Oh, yeah. Crazy, right? Well, because the demand's there. So you want to you wanna foster that. The scalp's right? there. Yeah. So, I mean, if they can fill that damn thing up, that'd be amazing. It's going to fill up. F it. No, there's no fucking way. They're going to tell you that. But then they'll never shoot a shot below the 200s. Everything's going to be they'll, – they'll shoot it below the 200s. They'll never, they'll never shoot it from, like, base level Oh yeah, looking up. There ain't no way. Okay. No. But anyway, yeah, no. So good for them. They uh, they get to be – they're back in Dallas. Or, or they're in Dallas, and they've always been called the Dallas Wings, but they've always played in Arlington. So, yeah, cool. Yeah, happy for them. It's awesome. Yeah, right over there. I think I know what's up. What's going on? 
<laughs> I'll check it in a minute. Anyways, okay. go ahead. <laughs> but now I guess that's all. Hey, guys, go check us out. Uh, SB Fantasy Football Podcast. Uh, new episode going to be dropping tomorrow on that. We're talking NFL rookies, uh, guys we were excited about, guys that uh, we're looking forward to seeing. Uh, SB Baseball Podcast, you're getting daily content from there, uh, whether it's you, you get the recap every morning, you get sporadic episodes, you get uh, weekly standings. You get the weekly standings, but, yeah, weekly the episodes standings. are about a one once a week. We're trying to do twice a week, but it's it's still once a week. But we got get, two dropping this next week. You get a ton. We we'll talk a little MLB uniforms mm-hmm. and a little Trevor Bauer talk. And mm-hmm. you know, we talked a little bit of it earlier with Combs because he was asking us. Mm-hmm. But we go into it a little bit more on on that. Uh, so make sure you guys check us out and follow us on all of those. Especially, get, we need some love over on the SB Baseball Pod over there on Twitter, guys. We don't we don't have any real people that follow us yet. <laughs> a bunch of just, hulas. <laughs> just a bunch of a bunch of a bunch of hulas that are following us. Oh, uh, God. So be the first real person to follow us. We Maybe they're just it. bots instead of the other know. thing that you're well, saying. Well, they got pictures of them. Yeah. Of was. Yeah. The the last one that follows us is wearing a skort, short skirt and uh, holding a golf club. Oh. Yeah. She likes golf? I yeah, like golf. Apparently. Winnie. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Who knew? I'll have to figure that um, out. But, yeah, guys, check us out all over the place as well as, you know, check out Strikeout Beer anywhere you listen to your podcast as well as on the YouTube. Rap Dave's starting to drop a bunch of the old beer reviews on there. Mm-hmm. So you guys can pick those up, but it's been fun. Big shout out to Combs. Huge shout out to Mr. Brandon Combs. The Combs and Fitz Windy City Sports Talk. Check them out on Mondays. We're going to share that QR code um, over on our site so you guys can go give them a follow. But, again, thank you guys so much. As always, I'm Alan. Rep Dave. Talk to you guys later. Deuces. Thank you for listening to the SB, no, Strikeout Beer. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I, I did. Thank you for listening to Strikeout Beer Podcast. <laughs>